How's it going? It's all the news, all the time. And today we're looking at Wimbledon. Uh, we're looking at the centre court right now. Classic British uh, sporting event held every summer. Um, but what's the issue this year? Well, the crowds are down. It's not looking like this anymore. Uh, there's spaces everywhere. The question is why? A lot of people are saying people are not going because Serena's gone. Federer's not there. And Raducanu's out already. Oh, and chicken and chips is 11 quid. 11 quid. All right, thank you very much. Let's uh, <laughs> let's have a little look, shall we? Um, yeah, Serena Williams. She's lost in an epic match to Harmony Tan as time finally catches up with the 40-year-old. She was a literal legend. Seven-time Wimbledon champion. Seven times. But now she's beaten in the first round by Harmony Tan. 40 years old. Um, there's the score in the bottom left. Uh, first round centre court final, Serena Williams, uh, just the one set, and Harmony Tan picking up two sets. So over the course of her 27 years as a professional tennis player, Williams has seen generations rise and fall, with most of her contemporaries over a decade already into a retirement. But sadly, time comes for us all, and in a torrid evening on centre court, it showed what the challenge was before her. In the final chapter of her career, she has been legendary, though. So this is probably why a lot of people are just not turning up um, to Wimbledon this year. They're just disappointed. Um, I mean, it really is a sad thing. Um, and Federer, where is he? Uh, well, I'll tell you, he's not, he's not at Wimbledon. Um, Eight-time Wimbledon champion Roger Federer is not playing at the tournament this year for the first time since 1999. Remember that? No, probably not. But why? 40-year-old has been struggling with lingering injuries for an extended period now. Again, 40 years old. As such, the Swiss underwent knee surgery last year. Issues with his knee had long prevented Federer from performing at the peak of his powers. And in 2021, he decided something needed to be done. So we got two of the the top players in the world, Serena and Federer, both in their, both 40 now. If we look at his record, his singles record, uh, 1,251 wins to 275 losses. That's an 82% win rate, which is extraordinary. 103 career titles. Uh, he's clearly been number one. Current ranking, though, number 97 as of the 27th of June, 2022. And here's some uh, notable results. Australian Open in 2004, 2006, 2007, 2010, 2017, 2018. French Open in 2009. Wimbledon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times the winner of Wimbledon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times the winner of the US Open. Other tournament wins, Olympic Games wins. I mean, top of the, top of the landscape, top of the mountain, king of the hill. Him and Serena, I mean, they should have children. And they'd be the best children, the tennis players in the world. Um, <laughs> um, so there, there you go. Uh, end of an era. And we have Emma Raducanu. Again, Wimbledon um, seems to be a bit of a nightmare for her. Wimbledon return proved to be an anti-climax as the US Open champion exited the round, exited in the second round, sorry, with a defeat by Caroline Garcia. It seems living up to the hype has proved impossible for the 19-year-old so far. And a year after rocketing into stardom, yeah, she was insanely popular everywhere. Didn't she open the um, the New York Stock Exchange? Was, was she the one that did that? That's crazy. Um, after a year after rocketing to stardom with a run to the fourth round and then achieving the unthinkable in New York, she slips to a meek 6-3, 6-3 loss on centre court in the second round. Hmm. Um, some people say it's pressure. Some people say it's the lack of uh, permanent full-time coach. Some, some say lots of things. Food. Food at the tennis. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Um... A picture has emerged of a three-piece chicken set. Oh, that's been overdone to death as well. Um, which looks to be one thigh, 
them, okay? A wing and a nugget. <laughs> Look at this thing. With chips, coleslaw, barely, and a helping of barbecue sauce. All served up. Uh, that'll set you back. £11, $13 for that. Pff, you are having a laugh. A picture of the food has been doing the rounds on Twitter with plenty of disgruntled responses. Disgruntled, it's one of these only words that's only used in the negative. You never say people are gruntled. They're only ever disgruntled. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, you could be disgruntled with this, uh, this so-called chicken meat. Look at that state of that. I went to Wimbledon once and I had the uh, the strawberries and cream. You know, you have, you know, go to Wimbledon, you watch the tennis, you have the strawberries and cream, right? Um, I got a little plastic cup. It was about, you know, like a normal size little plastic cup, see through cup. And there was four strawberries in it. Four. And there was a little uh, dollop of this really thick cream. And it was about seven pounds. And it was four strawberries. And I was horrified by that. Like I was looking at it going, what? But this is this chicken will set you back eleven pounds for this overdone chicken, and those chips look overdone as well. And that coleslaw doesn't look like it's got any sauce on it. Apart from that, it's great. <laughs> um, <laughs> the chicken is deemed that bad. Even KFC got in on the action. Well, you know they're the experts. Slating the food at Wimbledon, you know it's bad. If the colonel is offended, God, that is a that is a shocker. So what else have we got? We've got fans putting something into some other guy's drink on live on tv at wimbledon i mean it's not that sort of place it is not of some sort of like late night club this it is footage taken on thursday's match between liam brody and diego schwarzman at wimbledon shows two audience members wearing sunglasses and enjoying a chat in front of them sits two golden wine flutes are they flutes um possibly not, um, which most people would assume would be for simply holding their tipples. However, in the clip, the dark-haired tennis fan reaches for something in his lap, oh yeah, before appearing to sprinkle it into his friend's drink. Well, at the Wimbledon, when I first saw this, I thought it was something to do with spiking his drink, but no, they're, they're all fully aware of what's going on. I'm like, really? Really, guys? I mean, is that, is that appropriate, <laughs> to be honest? Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, if you can click the old like button, the subscribe button, click every button you can find, really. If you see any buttons, give them a press. Um, if you've got any buttons at home you want to sew them on, that'll be good. Um, any other buttons you see in the street, press those, they're good. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the situation at Wimbledon at the moment. Are you going to get yourself some of that chicken? I wouldn't, if I were you. Are you going to get the strawberries and ice cream? Strawberries and cream? No, I wouldn't either. Um, let me know uh, what you think is going on. Um, why are people not turning up to the tennis? Four thousand people are missing from the tennis from the tennis tournament this year. So, you know, it's not a great situation for Wimbledon. I mean, is it is it because it was um, the COVID situation? Was it because uh, the Russian issue that they've brought in? Um, they tried to uh, ban Russian players, and it changed the the rating of Wimbledon. Um, is that why it's gone down? Is it a reaction to the the banning of Russian players? Is it Russians who are missing from the courts? Are they just not turning up? Um, what is going on? Why are there so few uh, people turning up to Wimbledon this year? Is it the chicken and chips? I mean, is it? Is that what's the cause of this whole, whole thing? Because that's fair enough. <laughs> Look at the state of that. I keep getting shocked by that. Is it because people are just doing loads of stuff? Um, <laughs> I mean, what's going on? What, what world are we living in where people are starting to do like this stuff in Wimbledon? What a crazy world we live in. Um, is it because the main stars are out? Radicano's out. Federer didn't turn up. Serena's losing. Is, um, is that what it's about? Is it the weather? I mean, the weather's been fine. Um... Why are so many people um, just not turning up to Wimbledon? I'd like to hear your comments. I'd like to hear your ideas on this. i um, quite interested in this. I've been to uh, Wimbledon a few times, and I do like it. Um, I think the first time I saw Bjorn Borg and um, John McEnroe. So it's quite a while since I first went there. So yeah, really interesting. So let me know what you think. And uh, 
get yourself some of the uh, chicken and chips if you if you've got like too much money you want to get rid of and um I will see you guys later.